Alright guys, so what I need you to do real quick is to like, subscribe, add some comments down below, share this video with all your friends. Uh, the series is going pretty well and if you want me to keep it up, I'm going to need that feedback. Let me know what's going on. Go to 3riverblades.com, purchase a knife for me if you want to support this channel. Also, become a Patreon mem member. It only costs you $1 a month. So, entrenching tool, E2, shovel, that kind of thing. That's what we're going to talk about today. How do I pick the right one? What is the best one for my option? I'm going to tell you someone that has served in the military for a very long time that the e-tool that we had issued to us was this one right here. Actually, I'm sorry. That is the new one. This is the old one. All right. This is the old entrenching tool. And I know a lot of people are going to be like, what? Uh, yup. They still have these available. It folds out in a watch because it will pinch your fingers. You can use it in this configuration, which is more like a uh, pickaxe, if you will. So if you need to get through some roots, you can do it that way. Of course, you can also use it in this configuration and the way it works is you tighten it here and when you tighten it here, this will lock into place. It actually pulls this slot or piece of steel down and then you can use it as an entrenching tool. Also, what I have seen guys do is they use this also as a chair. So if you put this in the dirt this way, you can actually sit on it and I'll let your mind wander as to why you would want to sit on an e-tool, but honestly, it's a, it's a good piece of kit. It does have some serrations on this side, and this side is sharpened on one edge, okay? Uh, these are issued to us. They're not overly heavy. Uh, they are made of an aluminum slash steel construction. I have broke in quite a few of them, especially if you are hitting roots and that kind of thing. Uh, what will break? is somewhere in here okay so not the shovel itself this is a uh, carbon steel uh, it is powder coated uh, or, or whatever they put on there it will eventually wear off and you'll see the shiny marks and then it'll get rusted but again it's an entrenching tool so let's define entrenching tool or military shovel what is it for okay so a lot of people have seen those videos where i guess in platoon where you took an entrenching tool and you killed the bad guys with it okay that's not really what it's for it's to make fortified uh, uh battle positions uh it's to dig a foxhole or a fighting hole uh, it's to uh, go to the bathroom more than likely okay so if you have to use you know if you gotta go poo in, in the woods you don't want to just leave it anyway you would dig a nice uh, little cat hole and dump it in there also earthworks that kind of thing uh, and again some of most of the shovels that you will get will be a sharpened edge because we're not always carrying axes all right it doesn't mean that you can chop down a large massive amount of trees but if you have shrubs and that kind of thing in a way you can also use it that way all right so this is the one that i was issued typically it would come in this type of configuration it's this hard plastic gi um uh, sheath it's not really that great I mean it works uh, the one I was issued to oh yeah this one has bolted them so you can see it still has the Alice clips on there and then this one was modified to have Molly clips as well the US military finally came out with a soft pouch which again reduces weight so thank you very much for that and as you can see it comes in multi colors I think there's a multi cam one as well and a coyote one as well so you can buy these military surplus these shovels right here run about 50 bucks, a little bit more, uh, but I will say that it is an overall shovel. If you are looking for something that's really uh, bomb proof made for the US military, make sure you buy one of these. They're just called the USGI, uh, Genuine Issue USGI Entrenching Tool. That's all it's called. Uh, you can get them cheaper without the case. So if you have a case laying around, you could just buy them or you're just gonna throw them in a pack. And that's really what it's for, is just to throw it in a pack, all right? So weight on this, uh, let me fire up my uh, scale off to the side, all right? And I'll put it with the soft pack just so we know. And there's a reason why I'm using weight on here. So you're looking at uh, two pounds, 11 ounces, two pounds, 11 ounces, really not that bad, uh, considering that that shovel can actually build you a house if you needed to, all right? So let me put this away. Again, 
The design is excellent. Uh, what I found that broke is right in between here, okay? But, I mean, for its compact size, it works really well. Then, uh, there was another issue, or the newer issue. This is made by Gerber. All right, Gerber, let me just get you a weight since I have everything set up. All right, two pounds, 15. And I think, again, it's about the same, it's about the same weight. The only thing that's heavier is the case. Uh, same design, a little bit smoother, but what this does is the, um, the locking nut is at the back, not at the front. Again, that was some of the problem was that the locking nut would get messed up at the front and it would break, all right? So this is a really nice shovel. I was never issued these. Uh, it's more plastic at the end. Uh, it gives a really nice handle here. Uh, what a lot of guys like with this, if you have this open style, again, this will lock in place if you need it to. Is that if you're digging, you can use both hands and then you can dig this way, all right? Again, nice e-tool made by Gerber. Military does a lot of contracts with Gerber. Again, it has serrations on this side. It is sharpened, but not as much. Uh, I, have n I have seen these break as well, to be honest with you. I've seen a couple videos. I've never personally used this. Uh, it feels a little bit more plastic. It's not as loud. I don't know if that makes sense. If you're digging in the forest somewhere, who gives a crap? Uh, you know, they're gonna know you're there. Anyway, again, you could fold the shovel to the direction that you need to. All right, the Gerber shovels, let's see if I can just fold this. Well, let's get this out of the way. All right, the Gerber shovel, again, is military issue, but I would just buy one on my own. You're looking at uh, $72, okay? So a little bit more expensive. Again, do you really need to go that high on, a, on an entrenching tool? It's supposed to be lightweight, but as I just said, they're both about two pounds, so you're really not saving any weight there. You're just spending more money. Um, and again, the design's a little bit different, but again, to each his own, all right? Then, uh, I've used this one, as you can see, this used to be a black case. Uh, this was what I used to use for my uh, sniper employments. And yes, you will need to carry items that uh, you don't think you'll need, but believe me, you'll need it. Uh, what I did is I camouflaged this. On the back of this, you can put Alice clips and Molly clips, and it also has a belt clip, which is why I liked it. Um, this is the Gerber. I'm sorry, this is the Glock entrenching tool, and I think this one runs about 40 bucks. Let's see, I'll put the, that on there. And this is a very simple entrenching tool, although again, as as cheap as, I don't wanna say cheap, but as lightweight as it feels, it's really not that bad considering what it does. So what this does is you can pull it out. Let me see if I could, there you go. Sometimes you gotta, there you go, it's got a lock in place, okay? So, it has a telescoping handle, all right? So it gives you nice purchase on there, it's very thick. And at the end of this, which is kind of cool, you take the cap off, if I can get it out, and it has a saw. And the way the saw works, is you will put it here, through this, okay? Well, let's see if I can get it. All right, so I, you kind of get the idea. And then if I needed to saw down branches or make a hide or something like that, I could. So I like that very much. I like the fact that the shovel is kind of lightweight. It's really not that expensive. Um, Glock makes good stuff. All their stuff is uh, pretty much bomb proof, okay? And again, the only difference is the nut right here has to be manually there you go, you have to take it off and then put it back on, but you can feel where it would lock into place. It does have all these little grooves around here, around the plastic, and again, it's lightweight, so that makes it really nice and compact, okay? So, what I liked about this one, again, super lightweight, let's see where we're at. It's not too expensive, all right, that's one pound, seven ounces, so considerably lighter than the USGI and the thing you have to understand about this is that you're carrying a shovel okay now 
Do you really need to carry a shovel? I don't know, all right? I really don't know. I think it's important um, if you're going to be, uh, let's say, camping or a place where you're gonna have to use the facilities of the bathroom. I think if you're going to create some type of, uh, you know, forward area, you're gonna need a shovel, without a doubt, okay? Um, if you're on the move, I don't know, you know? it's. It's a really good piece of kit, gets you out of a lot of trouble, okay? That's what I like about that. All right, let's talk about the Miltech German style. And I wanna say this is one of the heaviest tools or entrenching tools that I've ever purchased. Uh, again, this is about $30, $32. The thing about this is that it's a German tool that's made in China, okay? I don't know why, but the idea here is that there's a button right here, this button is a the lock release, okay? So you can open it that way, you can open it all the way. Uh, also, this one actually comes with a pick on it. Okay, so you can see there's a pick here, it'll lock into place, and then you can use a pick, all right? It doesn't come with a sheath in any way. And the thing about these folding shovels is that they're great, but understand that this length is going to stick out somewhere. I don't know if you're going to have to put that in your pack. The problem with this one is that it's super heavy. I mean, super heavy. All right, so we're looking at uh, two pounds, 12 ounces. So it's it's it just feels heavy. I mean, this thing is brutal. You know? uh, considerably front heavy as well. This one, I don't know. I think this was my grandfather's in World War II. I don't know where he got this one from. I don't know if it was an aftermarket. As you can see, it has some rust and pitting. Uh, what I did is I tried to clean it up as much as possible. This dowel was put in here. I did not do that, but it's a really nice folding shovel. I like that the handle, the handle versions or the uh, folding handle versions make it very simple because it folds in one piece. And this one is not too heavy. I don't even know if you can purchase that one anymore. Again, two pounds, four ounces. All right, let's talk about this. This is one that you're gonna find most often. This is, again, around $40. This is cold steel, called the Spetsnaz, Spetsnaz E-Tool or Entrenching Tool. All right, I don't know if I, it's, or Special Forces Shovel with Sheath. This one actually came with a sheath. If you're not familiar, uh, a lot of these one-piece shovels or entrenching tools have to come with a sheath because as you can see, the edge is sharpened, again, you can use it to kill zombies if you like, but a lot of this is to get into really thick clay or to chop roots, okay? It is one piece construction. It does have two huge screws on it. Again, I've never used this before. It does have this pommel swell at the end of it so it doesn't slip out of your hand if you were going to swing this like an ax. Uh, I have seen people online where they, what they did is they did sharpen that and make it into a knife so you can whittle with it. It is not dull at all. Um, this right here, the sheath is adequate. You can slip it onto your belt or you can slip it here or hang it up like as a dangler, all right? So kind of cool. Uh, I don't have an original Spetsnaz shovel or e-tool, but Cold Steel makes a pretty decent one and I've heard really good things about these. So that's kind of neat. And then lastly, and this is the smallest one out of the bunch, is the Condor. Condor makes really good stuff. Again, uh, it's a very small shovel, and again, you're looking at like 50 bucks, okay? Uh, made in El Salvador. This is one of the smallest shovels that you can see. It's, it's super tiny. I don't know how much purchase I would get in here. This is more like a trowel. Uh, than an actual e-tool. It does have what would be considered somewhat of a saw. A bottle opener, okay, uh, no problem there. It does have sharp edges on three sides, and it does have the place to put a foot, although I don't know how you're gonna put a foot there. End cap is nice, nice touch. But again, this is more like a trowel, okay? So 50 bucks on that. It does come with a really nice sheath, different ways to attach it to your belt, lightweight, El Salvador, uh, really cool colors. Uh, the weight on this is about one pound, four ounces, okay? So not bad. I think it's a little bit too small, to be honest with you. Uh, I don't know. 
Let's see. But yeah, the sheath is really nice. I do like the sheath. But I don't really know if uh, this in a long term, I think in a short term, I think it would be great. Uh, there are a lot of people that go hiking and stuff and use those trowels, those orange trowels that are plastic and lightweight. And I know someone's going to mention that. However, I would caution you that those trowels are only good for one thing, uh, and that's to dig a cat hole. So if you got to use the bathroom, you can go use the bathroom. But these are multi-tools. You can use it to cut roots. You can use it for entrenchment. You can use it for combat. You can hurt somebody with it. You can kill zombies. You can kill dinosaurs, whatever it is. These are military grade shovels for a reason. Dig your car out, uh, build uh, fire pits, whatever you need to do. All right. So, so that's pretty much it guys. Like, subscribe, share this video, become a Patreon member, go to threeriverblades.com and purchase a knife for me. Thank you guys, and as always, please stay safe.